What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have three easy camp dessert recipes for you. So let's jump right into it. First up, we have chocolate hazelnut raspberry burritos. Here's everything you're going to need. We have some fresh raspberries, a bar of milk chocolate with hazelnuts in it, and small tortillas. We're gonna start by chopping the chocolate into little pieces so that it melts a lot easier in the burrito. And then take your tortilla, layer on some of those chocolate bits, and then a few of the fresh raspberries. I do about four or five per burrito and these are smaller tortillas. Fold in the sides and roll it up so none of the chocolate falls out. Heat your pan on your little camp stove over a medium heat and then add the burritos folded side down so that they don't open up. And you're just gonna cook them here for about five minutes on the medium heat and then flip them over. They should have a nice golden toasted color and then just heat the other side for about five more minutes. I'm using the spatula here to keep them folded. And the raspberries are gonna kind of melt into the chocolate and they're so, so good. That is it, super simple. Next up, we have a no-bake peach cobbler. Here is everything you're gonna need. We have some fresh peaches, granola, honey, pecans, butter, and cinnamon. And I'll have the link in the description below for written out recipes of all of these. So don't worry about writing anything down. First step with this one is to just slice the peaches and then heat your pan over a medium heat. Add in about a tablespoon of butter and all of those freshly cut peaches. To that, add about two tablespoons of honey and a sprinkling of cinnamon. Give that a good mix, and you're just gonna cook the peaches until they get really juicy and it starts to bubble and create almost like this little caramelly sauce on the bottom there. And you can turn up the heat a little bit so it's boiling, and you're just gonna cook that for about five minutes. And then this is what it should look like when it's done. The peaches have softened a lot and that's it for the cooking. So you can remove that from the heat, grab your bowl, and then just scoop a little bit of those peaches into a bowl. On top of the peaches, I'm just gonna sprinkle a bunch of this homemade granola. You can use any granola recipe that you would like. And then I'm adding a little bit more pecans because I love them, and a pinch of cinnamon, and that is it super simple and so delicious and lastly but certainly not least we have toasted coconut s'mores these are so good <laughs> so you're gonna need some graham crackers marshmallows toasted coconut unsweetened so i just made this at home and then a bar of hershey's milk chocolate with almonds for the toasted coconut, so like I said, I just bought some unsweetened shredded coconut from the store, put it in a pan over medium heat, and just mix it frequently until it has a nice golden color, and that's all you have to do for that, and then pack it up with the rest of your camp stuff. The layering for these s'mores is important, so you wanna start with a graham cracker, a square of chocolate, and then about a tablespoon of toasted coconut, and then you're gonna toast your marshmallow over a fire like you normally would for s'mores, and place it right on top of that coconut and it's gonna stick to the marshmallow and it's just so delicious. And that is it. You can use the other graham cracker half to kind of pull the marshmallow off the stick and you are done. These are one of my all time favorite camp desserts. They're so good. All right guys, that is it. Before you go, let me know in the comments what is your go-to car camping dessert and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more hiking, backpacking, and camping videos every single week. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.